Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be discussing about Refund. Refund is a one-act play by Fritz Karinti, a Hungarian writer. You might already know what a one-act play is. A one-act play is a play that has the unity of time, place, and action. The action takes place in one day, 24 hours, and that is the unity of time. Unity of place means that the action takes place in one place. Unity of action means the whole um, play deals with one particular action. Here in this play, uh, it has the unity of time, place and action because the time, the time span of this whole play begins and ends in 24 hours. The unity of place, the whole action takes place in the school premises in the institute in the old institute of the protagonist Weserkov and it also has the unity of action in which the whole play revolves around the action of Weserkov trying to get his refund. Weserkov demands a refund from his past school because he believed that the school was supposed to prepare him for his future but the money that he spent on school education wasn't worth and the institute the school along with the teachers and uh, the lecturers and the professors or the principal, they were unable to prepare him for his successful future, successful life. Therefore, he is here demanding for refund in his old school. We find that the professors here in this institute decide to re-examine him and thereby making him pass in all the subjects to avoid trouble. To avoid giving him money thus it also satirizes the modern education system how more and more educated citizens graduates and educationally qualified candidates are made to get through without any future prospect and when these happily individuals pass out from their college or institute they are left with no path to choose they are left in confusion. They are left being too educated to do odd jobs, but not good enough to compete with others. Just like the desperate Wezerkov who blames the education system for his dejected condition. This one act play refund is a satire about the modern day education system. Needless to say, education has become one of the best business. Running schools and colleges is a booming money-making business and it is all covered up with good philosophy of building the nation, better tomorrow, preparing for the future. But only very few follow these ideas. Most of us are like Wazirkov. They take your money, give you a degree, and if you question, they examine and make you pass and make you think you are qualified. Whereas like Wezerkov, we just become like fools when educated scholars in educational system question us. Even in this one act play, the teachers come together and work collaboratively in order to defend the school. The school and Wezerkov decided to have an oral interview like exam with Wezerkov. And throughout the exam, we find that the teachers applauded Wezerkov and approved that Wezerkov was giving the right answer even if it was a wrong, stupid answer. This reminds me that today, in our modern education system, many students write rubbish in the examination hall and still, they are promoted. Passing examinations have become very easy, very simple, and yet students, after getting through their examination and having the degree and qualification from the educational institution, they are still left jobless, unable to pursue a stable career and face disappointments. And it is human nature that a disappointed individual always looks for somebody to blame. So also, Wizarkov came back to his old institution, blaming it for his sorry life and demanded for refund. Wizarkov, the protagonist, is around 40 years old and jobless now. His friend Liderer convinced him to go back to school, his old school, to demand a refund of all the money that he had wasted on his education. 
as the play begins, we find out that Wazirkov has come to his old institution from which he had passed out 18 years ago. As he was fired from his job, he was walking down the street and then he met his fellow classmate some 18 years ago called Liderer, who said something about making money when money goes down and Wazirkov did not understand. He scoffingly, sarcastically said to Wizarkov, that if you do not understand anything about this, then you better you learn nothing. You better go and ref get refund of your money that you spend in your school education because you learn nothing. And Wizarkov literally decided that he should go and get a refund from his school after 18 years. He threatened to go to the Ministry of Education and complain about the institution if he did not get the refund. Wazirkov insisted that there should be another examination to prove his ignorance and that he learned nothing from them. The principal had an emergency meeting to prevent him from failing the re-examination and stopping him from getting a refund. When the examiners came in, Wazirkov tries to be as rude as he could and called them loafers. But the examiners, his professors, said that they were impressed by his way of greeting and marked him excellent in manners. Wizarkov just says that, so what, me getting excellent in manners does not make me pass in the examination. Let's get on with the examination and let me fail and get my money back. The history teacher, the history professor, asked him to sit down for the test, but Wazirkov said, no, I'd rather stand. The history professor applauded him for his physical condition and for his decision to stand and take an oral examination and marked him excellent in physical culture. In this way, they continued to make him pass in every category. The history professor, Schweffler, patiently listened to Wazirkov's rude remarks and asked, how long did the 30 years war last? After thinking for some time, Wazirkov said, exactly 7 meters long. The history professor said that it was right and graded him very good in history. Next came the physics professor and the physics professor asked him, why does the clock in the church steeples grow smaller when we walk away from it? Is it just illusion or does it get smaller in reality? Wizarkov tried his best to give a wrong answer and called him an ass, a donkey, and a whiskered baboon, a monkey. But the professor graded him very good in physics, saying that his answer was right. Then came the geography professor. Wizarkov tried to distract him too by being rude to him and telling him how much he hated him during his geography class. The geography professor asked him the name, what is the name of the city with the same name as the capital of the German province of Brunswick. Wieserkopf replied that the name of the city is same and he was graded very good in geography. So the examiners were trying to ask him stupid questions so that they, he would be able to answer and Wazirkov on the other hand was giving stupid answers. But even in his stupid answers, the genius professors, the educated, the scholarly professors were finding out sense in his senseless answers and were marking him very good or good or excellent. Just like when the professors want a student to pass, they just find out any reason to make them pass, though they write stupid rubbish answers in examination. So yes, it is totally a satirical portrayal of the present-day education system. Wizarkov was now to be examined by the mathematics professor. He mocked him and expressed how much he hated mathematics. The mathematics professor was calm, cool and he just said okay i'm gonna ask you two questions one will be hard the other will be easy and his question was if we represent the speed of light by x and the distance of the star series from the sun by y what is the circumference of a 100 and e-sided regular polyhedron whose surface area coincides with that of the hip pocket of a state railway employee whose wife has been deceiving him for two years and 11 months with the sergeant major of Husers. The question itself was senseless and Wazirkov did not even try to understand the question because 
he knew that they were trying to make him pass and just replied that exactly 2629 liters is that right that is my answer but the mathematics teacher said no that's the wrong answer the correct answer is 2628 liters and not 29. Mark him failed in mathematics. When Wizukov heard that he failed, he was very happy and started shouting, I told you so, I told you so, I'm ignorant, I, I learned nothing from this institution. The mathematics professor agreed that he deserved a refund. So it was time for them to calculate the money that the institution owed him. Excitedly, Wizarkov replied that, yes, yes, it's time to calculate the money that you owe me. I've studied here for six years. In the first three years, the institution owed him 150 crowns quarterly, so it should be 1,800. Second three years, the institution owed him 400 crowns semi-annually, that is 2,400. So 2,400 plus 1,800 would be 4,200. Examination fee, 240 crowns, 95 certificates, documents, books and stamps, taxes, 1,241 crowns and 43 heller. Total would be 5,682 crowns and 38 heller. Incidental stationeries and notebooks, 768 crowns and 12 hellers. So the grand total would be 6,450 crown and 50 heller. The mathematics professor said, it is the correct answer. And the mathematics professor proclaimed that he was a genius in mathematics because the easy question, he did not get it. But the hard question, he answered it so smoothly. So, Wezergov was marked excellent in mathematics. Finally, the institution congratulated Wezergov once again for his achievement in passing in all the subjects with distinction and sent him off by scolding him for insulting them. The principal also finally made this remark that in this institution, a pupil can never fail. So in this way, in the refund, we're talking about wit and unity of the scholarly people in an institution and also on the other side we find that it also deals with the education system of the modern society it satirizes the educational process